Alright. All right, today we're going to talk about why it's important to run and the benefits of running. Why do you run? You've probably been asked this question a lot before. It's not, it's not easy to answer, is it? If someone has to ask, they probably never understand. A man once came to Mozart and said, teach me to write a symphony. Mozart answered, I can't teach you. The man said, why not? You were writing symphonies since you were four years old. To which Mozart replied, yes, but I didn't have to ask how. If you have to ask, you just don't get it, and you probably won't get it. But you get it, don't you? You never really ask somebody, why do you run? Nevertheless, even who ever who get it have a hard time articulating your passion. That is because running is a passion of the spirit, and explaining the spirit is never easy. Running is the express way to self-confidence, self-awareness, self-discipline, and self-reliance. I've been running ever since I learned how to walk. My father is a runner, and I and has run over 100,000 miles in all his years of running. He has ran in 30 consecutive 10-mile road races and ran in the Detroit Free Press Marathon. He's also coached cross-country for 10 years and coached track for four. I ran cross-country in high school and, in, and am number 14 on our top 30 all-time cross-country list. I've ran over 20 road races outside cross-country, and I love to run for fun. Everyone can run. Running is fun, it's relaxing, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Running keeps you fit and in shape. It's good for your mind, body, and soul, and it keeps you healthy. Don't you want to be in shape, have a fast metabolism, and be as healthy as ever? Running gets you in shape. Running gets you, gets you up off the couch and gets you active. Sitting around the couch may be easy to do, it may be relaxing, and it may feel good, but, it, but nothing feels as good as, as the satisfaction of running. It takes willpower to push yourself out the door, but it's always a huge satisfaction when you get, when you get back from your run. 30 minutes of running a day can help you lose weight. Anybody that's starting to run may take longer, take a long time to run three miles in 30 minutes or less, but once you achieve that goal, it's huge, and it's a huge accomplishment. A three-mile-a-day, a, a three-mile run at three times a week may keep you in shape. It takes hard work to be able to run as fast as you would like to run, but once you get there, you will feel great. I ran in high school, but, but stopped running once I got in college. Starting back up was running was difficult, and the first few times I ran, I was nowhere near as fast as I was in high school. Once I was able to run three miles in 30 minutes, uh, it made a huge difference in how I felt and how my body felt. I now try to run three times a week to stay in shape. Running helps to burn fat and burn calories. For me, this is a huge plus because even though I run, I still like to eat sweets. By running three times a week, I'm able to maintain my weight and eat as much sweets as I want. Running is not just about keeping your body healthy. It's also good for your mind, body, and soul. Running helps you... Or for distance running, it's a mind over matter. It's important for your mind to focus on for the endurance. Your mind has to override what your body is saying. Your body may say that you want to run for a short distance, but your mind knows that it's better to work, to work out harder and to run further and push yourself. Running helps you to clear your mind and regenerate. Running can be, cons can be considered your me time. It's a chance for, to give yourself some much needed time to yourself that you may not get during the day. Your day may be hectic and crazy, but putting your running shoes on and going for a run may relieve your stress. When I get stressed, I put on my shoes, turn on my iPod, and go for a run. This rejuvenates my body and, and keeps my head clear. In an hour, I'm ready to continue my day stress-free. When, you, when your mind and body are in sync, it can also be good for your soul. Running has helped me to build my self-confidence and self-esteem. But, but when I complete a distance run, I feel good, mind, body, and soul. With my family, there's a lot of lost relatives to cancer, and one of my motivations is to, not eat, is to not only eat healthy, but to stay healthy through exercise, and my exercise of choice is running. Running helps you to burn carbs and lose weight, but you can also eat good, too. If you eat only bad food, then when you go for a run, you're going to burn off some of that food that you ate, therefore you're not burning anything more than or losing weight. If you eat good and run, then you burn off that unwanted carbs from your diet, which helps you burn that fat and lose weight. For me, running isn't just about burning calories and, burn and losing weight. I know that running helps build up your lungs and makes your heart stronger. I know that a body in motion is going to be much healthier than a person that be, help you be a much healthier person than someone who chooses not to, to perform exercise. Running <laughs> leads to a healthier you. It takes willpower to get yourself out there and decide to exercise. The longer, harder, and more often you exercise, the greater the health, the health benefits, including the risk 
reducing the risk of diseases such as cancer and diabetes, according to the, re the recommendations, which were based on a decade of scientific research. It also helps to reduce asthma. When I started running in, cro running in cross country in high school, I had really bad asthma. When I started running, uh, I had, I, uh, after running for a while, I built my endurance, worked through a few asthma attacks, and got in better shape. Surprisingly, I had less and less attacks to the point where during my senior year, I had zero asthma attacks. As I got in shape, my lungs got stronger and were able to take in more oxygen. Studies have shown that people who engage in the amount of exercise of running three times a week recommended live an average of three to seven years longer than the couch potatoes, according to William Haskell, a medical professor at Stanford University. If your body is in good shape and if you work to keep it in shape, then your chances of living longer than someone that, who is overweight and out of shape are stronger. Running is great for your mind, body, and motion, for your mind, body, and soul. Running is a great way to stay in shape and get serious about your health and getting fit. It boosts your metabolism so you won't feel guilty about rewarding yourself for the, with that bowl of ice cream that you might want. For me, running has become my drug of choice to stay in shape to keep my mind, body, and soul healthy. You should run to get in shape and make a better way of life for yourself. What was it?